Greetings my YouTube friends. Today I'm here with a bit of a review on the Gilio pencil case. As you can see here I have two and the main one I'm using at the moment is the dark brown because it matches my Apunto and it also matched my um, uh, dark brown cream uh, Campania which I still love 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 anyway I'm here to do a review on the pencil case I put a photo up the other day about a few dark brown Gilio products and um, I was asked a question about how much the pencil case um, fits and so I did, did a bit of an experiment to put in just pencils and I was really surprised at how many pencils it actually fits so I thought it would probably be a good idea to show you on camera um, that little experiment um, so because this it looks small and it is quite small but it's hugely deceptive as to what it does fit as usual the leather Gilio leather well if you own a Gilio product you know what I mean um, Gilio leather is just like no other no other product really it is the very best leather um, and it just wears beautifully the thing about the pencil case that I quite like too is the zip the zip is a really good quality zip it has a really nice sound I don't I think you understand what I mean by that it has that nice little smooth sound to open and close um, and <clears throat> even when it is absolutely full like this one is it doesn't seem to have too much of a um, put too much pressure on this zipper so um, you know generally when you overfill things that have a zip you can see the um, the effect that it has on the zip for some reason I think it's possibly the leather uh, added to the quality of the zip it doesn't seem to do that in in the Gilio pencil case so I'll show you what I generally keep uh, what I carry with me uh, a mechanical pencil um, a double-ended marker a highlighter a um, th this is a lead pencil but it's purple lead so it's erasable I carry a Tombow glue pen so if I need some glue it's in a pen form and I have glue on the run I also, this is an Artline Smooth um, Neon Pink uh, pen, um, there should be another one, there's a Neon Orange pen, I keep a stylus for my iPad, this is a, an Adonit um, um, what did I just say it was? <laughs> I'm having a bit of a senior moment, this is an Adonit um, jot mini uh, stylus for my iPad don't worry it's um it it's a crap day for me but and while I should be working I'm doing this because I need a bit of a an escape I also carry a um, um, water brush pen and I carry three watercolor crayons these are Greta color uh, aqua monolith uh, crayons and these are the three primary colors so I can just join these up and I've got pretty much the color of the rainbow in watercolor so that's what I keep in my pencil case every day and it is quite full okay because I do have oh did I show you the rubber there is also a rubber or eraser <coughs> um, as <laughs> some of you call it so this is an empty Gilio pencil case this has been very well used um, and still is gorgeous gorgeous 
Um, I've got a couple of other gold products so if I'm using those I'll just swap everything over to this. Now these are a set of 24 coloured pencils that are um, Mikador uh, colour rush pencils which I got given to me as a as a present when I was sick um, with a colouring book so um, so let me see how many of these 24 pencils fit in here one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Twenty-four, and I think you can see from that it isn't that's 24 pencils it is comfortably full but not over full so um, I think they're all uniform sizes now this is actually oh no there's still a bit of there's still a bit of room in that but this with 24 pencils in is absolutely comfortable so like I said it is very surprisingly deceptive how many items this Gilio pencil case fits in I'll leave a link below where you can go to access uh, one of these there's a whole range of different colors that you can purchase um, but of course yeah I've got these two colors and I absolutely <coughs> adore them so thanks for watching and if you have any questions please ask below and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.